Sorry, this is chapter 3B quiz for uh, Physics 101, the online section on projectile motion. I have a soccer ball that's kicked at an angle of 30 degrees. So the soccer ball is kicked at some initial velocity at an angle of 30 degrees, and it's going to follow a path that will look like this. Uh, the ball requires one second to reach the goal, so the time to get from here to here, the time required, is equal to one second and I want to know what is its initial velocity at this point the initial velocity that's the magnitude of the initial velocity all right so I have the time here I'm back out what the uh, initial velocity is what I'm going to use here is this fact that at this point that requires half the time and then also that the velocity in the y direction at this point is equal to zero and that the time Let's see, I'll call this T, T, that's for T at the top, is equal to 0 0.5, and I'll call this VYT for VY at the top. And then I can go to my, uh, my equations. I'm going to use this one, V sub Y equals V naught Y plus AY times T. And then I'm going to add my little T subscript because I'm looking at the... Uh, the velocity at the top. And now I can put in some numbers here. I get zero because that is my velocity at the top of the trajectory equals v naught y. Come back and change that in just a second. Plus minus 9.8 meters per second squared times t at the top, which I know is 0 0.5 seconds. So that tells me then that v naught y is equal to negative four, excuse me, positive 4.9 meters per second. And notice that that's an option because five is the five is an option there, but that's not the correct answer because I'm not asking for the initial velocity in the y direction. I'm asking for the initial velocity. So we need to know that v naught y is equal to v naught times the sine of the angle theta. If I divide both sides by sine theta. I get an expression for v naught, and that is that v naught equals v naught y over sine theta, which is uh, v naught y, I now know is 4.9 over the sine of 30. And the sine of 30, of course, is 0.5, so it's just going to be 9.8 meters per second, but keeping just one sig fig as I have in this problem, the answer will be D, D. All right, you fire a projectile from a table as in this figure. If the Y displacement is one meter, I'm gonna go ahead and write this in. This distance right here is one meter, and the initial speed is five meters per second. So the velocity here, V naught, is five meters per second. How far does the projectile travel in the x direction? This is going to be a two-step problem. First, I want to find the time. Usually in these projectile, problem, projectile motion problems, if you don't have the time, you need to find the time. Uh, so you want to find the time first. And then in order to do that, as we do in projectile motion problems, we want to analyze the y motion. And then after we get the time, we will find the x displacement. And the x displacement is pretty easy, especially in this case, because you know all of the initial velocity is in the x direction. So x is just equal to v naught x times t, because you know this goes back to that kinematics equation at this, but uh, ax is equal to zero. So this term goes away. So x is just equal to v naught x t, but because all of the velocity is in the x direction initially, v naught x is equal to v naught times t. So we already know v naught, it's equal to 5. I'll go ahead and fill this in. Times t. And that's what we need to do. We need to find the time t, and then the problem is basically done. All right, so find the t. Uh, let's write down what we know. We know that y is equal to negative 1.0 meters. That's saying that y naught equals 0 up here, and so down here y final is negative 1. We know that the acceleration in the y direction 
is minus 9.8 meters per second squared. And they also know that V naught Y, because of the way this projectile is being fired, is zero meters per second. All right, so I have Y and the acceleration of V naught Y. I can use this. Excuse me. And uh, let's see, I'm looking for, what am I? I'm looking for T. Fortunately, V naught Y cancels out because V naught Y is equal to zero, so this whole term goes away. That's fortunate because that means I don't have to use the quadratic formula, which I would make you do anyway. So it's negative 1.0 meters equals one half of minus 9.8 times T squared. I divide both sides by one half of negative 9.8, which is negative 4.9. So that gets rid of this. And I'll left with t squared equals, take the square root of t squared, of 1 over 4.9. That's meters over meters per second squared. And 1 over 4.9, square root of that is 0 0.45. 0 0.45 seconds. So that's my time. And now I come over here and I put in 0.45 seconds and I get 5 times 0.45 and I get 2.3 meters. So the answer is B, 2.3 meters. All right, a small, a small card is rolling at a constant velocity on a flat track. Uh, it fires a ball straight up into the air as it moves. Actually, I'm going to do this. in two installments, so I'll come back and do the rest of this later.